Our next Heavenly Goddess joined Athena's way back in 2002. <laughs> 12 years and a lot of fun stories and experiences later, she has grown as a business owner just as Athena's has grown. I'd like to say that we've grown up together. Um, when I first heard her speak years ago at a spring fling, I was enthralled with what she had to say, more so the way she said it. She soon became one of our resident experts on creating connection with the gay and lesbian community. I recently had the opportunity to stand in the rain with her after a meeting in Western Mass that Linda Norton uh, hosted, and together we saw this beautiful rainbow. And it was so appropriate that we would stand there together, um, you know, her an advocate for, the, for that community, for the LGBTQA, are there any other letters I missed, um, community. And you know, here she was on the verge of this huge recruiting milestone. She has become a mother in the last few years, and I'm joyful knowing that there is a little person out there with such a lovely mom. This team leader has served on the Goddess Adonis Advisory Board, has been a featured guest on Athena's telecalls and BBWs. Her team is the Pirates of Passion, and they wave their flag high and proud, sailing the high seas, looking for damsels in distress, in need of better sex and more booty. Here she is, the head buccaneer herself, the team leader of the Pirates of Passion, Jennifer Tessier Williford. Okay, this is weird. I don't have my strap on. on. I'm like, whew, I don't know how to talk without that thing. Um, wow. And I have to fit 12 years of my goddess life into four minutes. So forgive me if I've forgotten you. Um, and that's probably why I handed you a card so I wouldn't forget to thank those who um, were a big influence in my life. Um, but I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the first hostess who invited me to a party when I was young and shy. And um, it was a friend who was like a big sister. And the goddess had four customers and we just sort of sat there and chit chatted and it was like oh oh this is neat and she said the kit cost five hundred dollars you get a thousand dollars in sex toys and I went well that's a good deal um, so I bought the kit and I never owned a sex toy and I thought well it's okay I'll figure it out because um, <laughs> I got a thousand dollars in sex toys so that's a good thing and then I have to thank my friend friend special friend who um, used to come with me to like holiday parties and stuff and uh, one holiday party my first year, we were sitting there, and he was talking to one of the um, husbands. I actually think it was Linda's husband, Paul. And um, somebody at the table said, oh, wow, Jen's like born to do this. And he looked at her and said, Jen, this Jen, my Jen, like her? Um, so thank you for not believing in me, because um, I'm still here, and I'm doing that. Um, the most important people I have to thank are my wife and my and our son. Um, when I didn't think I could do it, she said, go do it. Um, when I was doing it and doing too much and taking away from our family, she said, slow down. When um, she was out of work this past March, she said, do it more. <laughs> <laughs> when I lost my J-O-B a month and a half ago and she's still out of work, she said, go do it a lot. <laughs> um, and when I said, you know what, I don't know, it's 12 years, I I'm not, here to be Olivia or Chrissy or Erica and do hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. I'm just here to be me. And she said, but you're still here. So good to work. Um, so she, yeah. So um, she was one of the first spouses to be part of the Support Your Goddess and Adonis um, and be at those meetings um, speaking out for all the partners and making it known that um, it's about everybody in our company. Um, so she, she's a big influence, and I think she's influenced my son because recently we were somewhere and I was talking to a woman and he's making a ruckus in the back seat. He's seven, they do that. So I kind of ignored him because I do that. I'm a mom, I can. And when the woman left and I'm like, what was your issue? He goes, you didn't hand her a business card. Okay. He gets, he gets that from her. Um, when I get dressed up, he goes, oh, it's goddess work. Yep, I'm going to goddess work. And he'll look at me and go, Mama, you're beautiful. You're going to do a good job. So he's a huge influence, and I'm, I'm blessed because of that. I'm here because I activated um, 25 team members, and my pirates are extraordinarily important to me. Um, they call me all day, all night. That does not make the wife so happy, but I love you all for it anyway. Um, 
And I, I'm really thrilled that I have some of my new team members with me, but I also want to acknowledge those who have come, reached their dreams, achieved the goals that they set, however big or small, and have gone on um, to do whatever they wanted to do in their life because part of what I believe is that we have goals and whatever they are, big or small, we can achieve them and Athena's can be part of that. So I'm blessed to have all of that. Um, and today I get my biggest treasure, my jewelry, um, to acknowledge this point and so that I can go forward and look whenever I'm a little bit like, well, I don't know about this thing, um, I will have sparkles to remind me that it's, it's time to grow and keep going. Um, and I thank all of you, those who I have made lasting friendships with, those who I wouldn't be here without, <coughs> who stood with me at my wedding, who um, married me, who were there to support me, who have always been there. Um, it is time for the team, the Pirates of Passion, to cash in our booty, to search for our treasure, to captain our ship, and to um, captain our destiny. It's time for us and for me to do big things. So thank you. <laughs> Speaker. Joy.